Hello friends. So today we are starting with very very important topic. How do we differentiate between analog circuits and digital circuits? So this is most important lecture and first lecture on digital electronics. If we understand this very clearly, then interest will be developed in us to understand the course on digital electronics. So I request you to be tuned to my channel till last second of my delivery. Right. So start with the first difference between analog circuits and digital circuits. That is, digital circuits are switching circuits. They are called switching circuits because in case of digital circuits, we are talking of binary zero or binary one, and there are transistors involved in these circuits. And when these transistors they are operating in these circuits, it is either working in cutoff mode or in saturation mode. So only two modes. So when it is giving binary one that means collector terminal when it is giving binary one that means that transistor is working in cutoff mode transistor is not on and when transistor is on it is working in saturation mode so in this case transistor is always getting on off getting on off or transistor is going from saturation to cutoff cutoff to saturation so there is always a switching taking place within the transistors involved in digital circuits that is the reason we call this as switching circuit but in case of analog circuits it's basically continuous range of current or continuous range of voltage that we come across in analog circuits so there is no switching that we come across in analog circuits then second point is they are very easy to design so Digital circuits are very easy to design. This point is come from the fact that in case of digital circuit designing, we deal with binary zero or binary one. So only two voltage levels that we need to come across: binary zero level or binary one level. Using these two levels, we design larger to largest of the circuits. But in case of uh, analog electronics, we have complete voltage or current range depending upon what. a uh, current values or what voltage values a circuit is operating we need to design a circuit so that it has large voltage or current range handling capability right then third is exact value of current and voltages are exact values of current and voltages are not important in case of digital circuits this is because of the fact that let us say this is my binary zero and this is my binary one voltage range so binary zero voltage range is from 0 to pointed this is an example i have taken and binary one voltage level is 2.4 volt to 3.8 volt so any value i am getting in this particular voltage range will be treated as binary one it is not exact voltage that we come across in digital circuits it's approximate approximate range that is to be decided as binary one and 0 to pointed any value of voltage within this particular range is treated as binary zero so it is a range that we come across but in case of analog circuits each and every value of voltage and current is important we cannot have approximation here it is very exact system analog systems are very exact system there is some kind of approximation involved in case of digital systems right while we convert analog into digital so there is a approximation involved here next is digital circuits has high accuracy and precision that means they are scalable let's take an example to understand this concept clearly example is if i wish to design a 1 bit multiplier using a digital circuit uh, we'll come across this practice later on that we can easily design this kind of circuit and if i wish to use this 1 bit multiplier to implement a 10 bit multiplier i can scale that 1 bit multiplier to design a 10 bit multiplier and 10 bit multiplier can be scaled to design a 100 bit multiplier so scaling is very easy but in case we design try to design such circuits using analog circuits then this scaling is very difficult so any circuit that is very large will be involving lots of power consumptions a small circuit will be involving less power consumptions so probability of its working linearly is very low in case of analog circuits but probability of working linearly in case of digital circuits is very very high right the next is it is less uh, programmable large range of operations are available in case of 
digital electronics means there are a lot of software languages which are available while we design digital circuits such as Verilog and VHDL very high speed hardware description descriptive language so there are two languages available worldwide there is no other language as such of now and these two languages are such that even if I master one language I may not require VHDL if I master Verilog I may not require VHDL but if I master VHDL I may not require Verilog to solve the digital circuits to implement the digital circuits and number of operations that can be implemented using these languages in digital circuits they are very high but number of operations to be implemented using a software in case of analog circuits those there is a lot of limitation in number of operations so when we say that there is a limitation this means that while we implement such a circuit on the software analog circuit on the software then probability that this circuit will be working on the hardware also is low but same probability is very high in case software implemented in digital circuits is to be designed using a hardware so probability of working is very high in case of digital circuits in comparison to analog circuits right next point is there are lots of companies working in the area of digital circuits in Bangalore and Hyderabad, Pune. So there are about 500 to 600 companies which are working in the area of digital circuits. And there are lots of companies who are designing softwares for digital circuit design. Companies examples are Synopsys, Cadence, Xilinx and Mentor Graphics. So there are lots of other companies also who are working in designing softwares for VLSI design companies, digital circuits companies, right? In case of analog circuits, you will find lots of open source softwares available on internet. If you Google open source circuit design simulators available on internet, there are plenty, but the probability that circuit designed on those tools will be actually be working using a hardware, its probability is low. And hence, this area of digital circuits is very, very popular, right? Then next is, Digital circuits are very less affected by noise. Now, let's take this example. Let us say this is binary 0 and this is our binary 1. And this signal which is transmitted using a binary 0 and binary 1, let's say this kind of signal. So, this is binary 0, this is binary 1, transmitted through a channel. After some distance, you receive this kind of signal. Right? Then, signal this is more than 50 percent now this signal will be passed through a repeater circuit and exact replica of this signal will be regenerated using a repeater and this will become zero and this will become one well but, but we have to ensure that not much of the noise has affected this signal during the passage if i am putting up a repeater after two kilometer and finding that i am getting signal with lots of errors then it may happen that i may require that repeater after one kilometer only so that it is affected less by the noise and if it is less affected by the noise and i pass this signal through a repeater i'll be getting exact voltage one and voltage uh, uh, binary one and binary zero level here and complete same signal can be replicated at the receiver side but in case of analog circuits if i transmit this signal through the passage then whenever I amplify that particular signal noise also gets amplified and it is very difficult to detect how much noise is entered in the signal during propagation through a medium. So very difficult very tedious task right now next is large circuits and small chips that is large circuits are implemented using smaller chips in case of digital circuits but in case of analog circuits large circuits requires lots of large large sized chips in comparison to digital circuits and as voltage operation current operation operating voltages and currents values goes on increasing then capacitor inductor transformer implementation on the ic becomes very difficult and they are to be taken outside but in case of digital circuits, capacitance, inductance and transformers can be implemented in the IC itself because 
range of operation voltage and current values of operation they are very small and hence it is very easy to design such digital systems right now if we take few examples or what kind of jobs can be implemented in digital circuits then those are data computations data processing digital signal processing in order to transfer the signals fast processing of the signals digital control systems so all these applications are for digital circuits whenever we talk of processing a information fast processing of the information it is digital systems that help us and in case of analog examples are feedback amplifiers oscillators triple five timers ic741 operational amplifier ics so there are lots of integrated circuits examples which are available for analog also but these are mostly industry based applications which we require to be implemented using digital circuits and applications of op amp and ic triple five these are small scale applications and these are large scale applications but though we studied lots of advantages of digital circuits and disadvantages of and log circuits but there is seriously a very serious disadvantage which is related to digital circuit and that is a real world is analog and digital systems are not analog so when we are dealing in day to day life with all kinds of analog signals how my digital system will be processing the digital signal i need to convert analog day to day life signal into digital so i require analog to digital converter and when that signal is processed or data computation is done data is processed then at the receiver side or for the user to understand that information again we need to convert that data from digital to analog back so that i as a individual can understand that information properly so there is a lots of expenditure on digital to analog converters and analog to digital converters and there is a lot of precision error also in case of a to d and d to a converters whenever they are involved in this so this was all about the basic of differences between analog circuits and digital circuits i hope you like it and subscribe to my channel thank you very much